Good morning to all. Welcome to another episode of interview series with Diksha in City North Campus News. Today I want to introduce you to a very highly and experienced personality in Ms. Anuradha Chandel, Principal City Public School, Chennai. Ms. Anuradha Chandel has done her schooling from the oldest school of North India, Auckland House School, Shimla. She is graduated in science from Saint Bede's College, Shimla. She has done her masters in English as well as. education along with bed from the punjab university chandigarh she has experienced of more than 10 years as a principal and 16 plus years as a teacher and she has also experience with the day boarding school so our topic is today's interview is also on the day boarding she has received many prestigious awards like leadership award from sohodya cluster amritsar by the education minister of punjab She has also received award for excellence by Shri Guru Arjan Dev Sahodya Cluster. She received a very prestigious India School Award for the best educator from Times of India by the Chitkara University in 2018. In 2019 she was given award of honor for the outstanding accomplishment and leadership by the City University Ludhiana. We heartily welcome you to our studio ma'am. Thank you so much. So, ma'am, my first question is to you: that why day boarding is important in today's scenario? If I talk about today's scenario, the today's generation is a very fast generation who believes in living in a comfort zone. They want to wake up late. They want to be surrounded by electronic gadgets. Yes. But if we talk about our country, India, we had the ancient Gurukul Pratha. and in that the children would wake up early in the morning they will do yoga they will do the meditation so here at ctps we believe in the same sentiments of guru pratha we wake up our children at 5 am and they do the warming up exercises followed by yoga meditation and some of them go for swimming also and so what happens because of this their habits of waking up which is a must for every child that improves and uh, secondly nowadays both the parents are working some are into jobs some are doing business so they have no time for their children they don't have the quality time they want to spend time but due to their busy work schedules they are stuck up so there the question comes that why not the hostel why to leave the children uh, well in the care of nannies or the maids and another thing is when the child is staying in the hostel child is doing all the tasks himself or herself so the child becomes very uh, confident uh, independent so rather i would say my i put you another question that why not boarding boarding is a must every child must experience the boarding life because it will make the child really a very independent and a confident child Ma'am, actually, we often used to hear that if a child was stubborn, then uh, he should send to the hostel. What do you say about that? It's not like that. Only the stubborn children should be sent to the yeah. hostel. It's not. Every child is different. All the fingers are not the same, mm -hmm. and every child has a unique quality. If a child is stubborn, also we have to see to it. When the child is sent in the hostel, we go an extra mile to find out why the stubbornness. We work yeah. upon that because we got a time. and the parents have a trust on us so when you work upon that the stubbornness also goes away with the time so the child really becomes uh, very responsible and leaves his stubbornness but in the child's mind uh, they uh, they think of that is a very strictly uh, uh, environment in the hostel it's not like that if i talk about our city public school hostel it's a hostel with a difference we uh, i am always present 24 by 7 for the children and all the motherly love fatherly love brothers love is i mean it's a combination of all we are giving we have the host of teachers we have the warden also so we keep them in a surrounding where they all feel very safe and secure it's nothing about strictness we are strict when it comes to uh, a discipline part as well uh, if we talk about the scores in academics yes. but that also in a very healthy way there is no corporal punishment neither in a school neither in the hostel so we believe that giving some positive tasks to them we can improve their behaviors so there is no need for the strictness as such 
when we are dealing the children in a friendly way because i am strict till that level like taking a horse to the water you know but now i know that uh, in a friendly way i'll take the horse near the water but i know this water is very essential for his life so it, the horse must drink the water so i'll be strict where it is required in small bits but at the same time i'm so friendly in the evening i'll mix up with the children there is dancing sessions music classes swimming so i'm a part of that so it eases their tensions if some will some tension is there like that that's so good uh, for the students also so ma'am what are the plus points of city hostel if i talk about uh, the positive aspects of our city public school hostel the best thing is no doubt we are providing all the amenities like it is fully ac yeah. we have the gymnasium we have got a, a, a swimming pool of a very uh, olympic sized dimensions but the thing is it's not just the amenities the best part is that we have a kind of a culture where we are fostering the social values in the children nowadays the social values are lacking so social adaptability and working upon the moral values of the children making them the global citizens of the world yes. we are working upon their lofty success with simplicity and humility so that's our trademark so we are different from the rest we are keeping a balance between the human values and their studies so ma'am how do you cope up with the slow learners or we can say uh, the students who are taking time to adjust in the hostel if i talk about slow learners i will not use the word slow learners for my students who are there in the hostel rather uh, our curriculum is such we are uh, it's learning by doing and we are following the latest audio visual aids yes. and every individual attention is given to the child rather i put those students as the gifted children or the specially able children and when the teachers are giving them individual attentions gradually they come in part with the rest of the students also so i don't say that we have the slow learners we have the gifted children on whom we work upon with the latest technologies and teaching methods and we bring them in part with the other children that's very cool so you are so ma'am as a parents my first priority is the security and safety So, what are the security safety in your uh, hostel? Uh, safety and security is our topmost priority because uh, parents have trusted us and uh, they have handed over their children to us. So, we are answerable for everything for them, and we have all the security officers, uh, the security guards around our school, and all the security uh, measures like CCTV footage, uh, cameras are all around. and but besides that i believe uh, if i talk about the safety and security the child will only feel safe and secure when he is able to open up his heart to the person who's taking care of him so i'm like a big mother to them and all the children they open up easily to me so any will a sense of insecurity or ease or tension is there i just they they uh, speak to me and i try to put it up into I'll try to solve it and or and uh, put it to an end in a positive way. So, ma'am, after you join as a principal, what new things you introducing in your hostel or we can say in school? And now, ever since I joined this group, uh, I wanted uh, to do the things, experiment little uh, out of the box. So, the first thing we introduce the international language, that is the French language for the primary classes. and they are enjoying those classes like anything and they're picking up the language uh, uh in a very fast way then uh, the band uh band we made some changes in our school band so that's a regular practice going on and uh, martial arts karate is on regular basis now swimming classes are going on daily and of course to promote their uh, entrepreneurial skills that that also we are working upon that we are having the uh, We have a college next to our school, so very intelligent professors are training our children on the these modules, mass media, baking classes, and uh, this uh, coding classes. So they, we have that uh, timetable also of the training uh, skills within the fixed timetable, and they attend those classes. And if I talk about the current uh, uh, events, we had organized uh, the Silver Night after a gap of six years. and that silver night is only for the hostlers where all the hostlers participate in all the 
co-curricular activities and uh, they showcase their talent so it really builds up their confidence it makes them feel they're a part of one big family like it's a home away from home you see? Yes. and uh, now we are in organizing the international uh, trip to uae also it's in the first week of july so they'll get an international exposure also and uh, we we are thinking of having a student exchange program uh, mou with the asmam schools and universities it's also in the pipeline so many more things are there and uh, because of nep and ncf the whole curriculum has to be as per that so many seminars workshops and uh, uh, just training the teachers so they carry uh, as per the nep policies their teaching methodology so that's also in the pipeline going on. that's very cool and your answer uh, cleared my all doubts about the hostel so at last ma'am what message you will uh, give to the parents who want to send their child in the hostel uh, my message to all the parents is that firstly they should uh, not believe that in the hostel only a child who is spoiled is sent by the parents no it's not like that hostel means it's a second home a second home where the child is pampered at home a child is sissy at home that child when it, that child comes to the hostel is no more sissy is no more stubborn that child becomes self reliant independent child the, the child becomes so organized and systematic like if i talk about a tr tr uh, traditional homes what happens over there the child comes back from school throws the things here and there the water bottle here the dress over there and the mother is collecting the things and in the morning also she has a tough time but in hostel it is not at as soon as the alarm rings the child has to wake up the child has to get ready for the morning exercises the child has to take a bath the child has to get ready by himself or herself so these things will help him in the future these are all those are skills the child is learning which are not possible at home because maybe if parents are not pampering the grandparents are pampering so according to me every child must spend some part of his life in the school hostel to come up very nicely and become an independent global citizen of the future That thank you so much ma'am thank you for your valuable time to giving us and thank you from the bottom of my heart and i hope all the queries of the parents now has been clear so if any other query then please contact ctps uh, hostel and or ma'am thank you so much thank you ma'am once again thank, thank you so much god bless you